Moffat and I am here shooting the cover of my new book. It's an autobiography, it's called Me Life Story, So Far So Good. You are very welcome to the BFI and Radio Times Television Festival on a lovely sunny Saturday. We really do live in a golden age of broadcasting and now we've got the chance to spend the whole weekend talking about the good stuff. Hi, this is your 60 second guide to next week on EastEnders. Next week's headlines, Patrick Bergen arrives as Aidan, Whitney and Woody to leave, and Ben and Luke come to blows. Hi, my name's Tony Terry, and welcome to the Buddy Workout app. Thank you so much for downloading. The app is a great addition to the Buddy Workout book. In the book, you will find out how to get fit, healthy, and have fun with the entire family. It's a reaction to a February day. It's how I would like it to be. It's a fantasy. It's a narrative of, of how I would like things to be, rather than be grey and beige and, and, and dull and boring and brown. I'm not trying to move the meaning of art or the purpose of art forward one inch. I, I, I paint stuff that I like and that I would have on my walls. The Kensington Academy of English is situated in a great part of London. We have all the historical monuments within walking distance of ourselves and we have amazing transport links which will take you throughout London. Everything is at a student's doorstep. There are uh, metro stations all around, restaurants, pubs, bars. It's really practical. We can basically walk around everywhere. We started our days as a catalogue retailer some 80 years ago and we've been on the most phenomenal transformation journey in the last three years at the same time with our partnership with EXL. We've gone from a catalogue retailer distributing over 30 million catalogues in 2005 to 100% pure play retail, and we're now the second largest online retailer in the UK. The work that I do is really based on memory. It's based on something like 40 years in the field, I call it, that is in northern nature, particularly northern nature, and observing intently and committing to memory details from the most minute insect to vast panoramic effects of sea and mountain ranges 